The police officer responsible for neutralizing the hostage taker who took former Senator Laila de Lima captive narrated how the events inside the Philippine National Police Custodial Center unfolded. Zakarian Sarao tells us the details live. Zach? Yes, Neil. An officer offering water in a cup. This is what created the opening for police officers to save former Senator Laila de Lima's life from a fellow detainee who held her hostage right inside Camcrame in Quezon City on Sunday. PNP Headquarters Support Service, or HSS Acting Director Colonel Mark Pespes, was the officer who took down the hostage taker, identified as detainee Feliciano Solayo Jr. Pespes, who narrated what transpired during the incident on Sunday, earlier today said that Solayo initially tried to flee the PNP Custodial Center in Camp Crame, along with two other companions. However, his two compa companions were subdued by police, with Solayo ending up in the Lima cell as he continued to run. Pespes said that when they arrived to the Lima cell, they immediately saw Sulayao in the inner room using the Lima as cover. The authorities proceeded to negotiate with the suspect, with the latter demanding a helicopter, a Hummer, and even the media. A few moments later, the suspect, Sulayao, eventually asked for water. Pespes noted that this was a good chance for the suspect to cool off. Authorities initially provided a bottled water to Sulayao, which they rolled along the floor. However, he was wary that the water contained substan substances that would make him drowsy. Pespes then attempted to give another, this time from a, bat from a bottle he himself drank into. But Sulayo did not still did not accept this, becoming even more impatient and threatening to end the former senator's life by 7.30am. Pespes again offered water, this time, this time in a cup from a dispenser in the Lima cell, giving it to Sulayo directly. Tapos nung humingi na siya ng uh, bottled water, ay ng tubig, gusto niya sa dispenser. So, pumasok, pumasok ako sa first room. Uh, humingi ako kay ma'am ng ma'am, uh, pahi, pahiram ng uh, cup. Sabi ko, para may time lang na mag-usap. And then, pumasok ako sa may uh, dispenser. Tapos, so, eto na po, sabi ko kay Sulayaw. Uh, ipinakita ko yung half-body ko, tapos ibinigay ko yung tubig. Uh, ayaw nang abutin dahil pag abutin niya lalapit at lalapit sa akin so inilagay ko sa table sa, sa tabi tapos nung sinabi kong uh, uh, Feliciano malalaglag ito so nag-attempt siya na hawakan yung baso nung uh, nakita kong medyo na-expose na yung ibang katawan niya doon ko na uh, inilabas yung uh, baril Zach? Ah, yes, Neil. The Lima did not suffer any wounds except from chest pains and a knife mark as the hostage taker pressed the knife against her chest. The former senator, in her own statement, then described the incident as a near death experience. Pespes, along with several HSS and Special Action Force officers, were then awarded with the Medallion ng Kadakilaan for their swift response to, to rescue the Lima. This is Saharian Sarau reporting for Inquire.net. Uh -huh. Zach, I have uh, one question for you. Are there talks about the possibility of tightening the security there? In, uh, uh, and uh, were there talks about a possible uh, lapses in security on the part of the PNP? Well, so far, Neil, the PNP has yet to review whether it has new security plans for the custodial facility in, in Kamkrame. It did say, however, that it has already begun, begun its investigation on its existing security protocols. Meanwhile, talks of transferring the Lima to another facility are also mm -hmm. currently being arranged. But the Lima has reportedly rejected all these offers. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Zach. That's Zakarian Sarao's live report.